all right well i put the, a longer ground cable on and i double checked everything from the charge wire all the way up through the diode i haven't moved anything on the key switch i did replace the 5 amp fuse but only had a 4 amp to put in there so and so where we're at i think what happened <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I think I might have hooked up to this wire here. I don't know. But it popped the fuse. So so we're grounded. Uh, this goes to my meter. So this is going to my 28 volts AC. And then the other side's connected there. Um, everything's buttoned up in here. So we turn the key on. 14.4. Um, yeah, I think that 5 amp fuse just couldn't hack it. I think I'm going to go ahead and tighten the dash tower down now. And we're going to put a battery in it. I've got a 15 amp fuse to go in there. All I can do is see, it, see what happens. I got these two in. And I got this one in. But that one that one's up there and there's a metal plate below it and a metal plate above it so i'm not sure it's behind that yellow wire right there i'm not sure how i'm going to get a washer to bolt on that well there's just enough room for me to get that nut on back there so now yeah that is a tight squeeze. All right, all I gotta do is tighten them up now. I came back here to look at my 20T because I, I couldn't remember if there was any standoffs on these holes. There's not. So, uh, yeah, they're just open holes. All right, <clears throat> I'm just doing another sanity check. So, uh, we're on ohms. That's just a charge wire. I've unplugged the, the key. So the charge wire goes here. So I got point or I got 0.5 ohms. Actually it's 5 ohms. So now if I reverse these, it should be open. Which it is. Okay. So that's step one. Making sure I've got it in the right position there. all right i'm back so we've confirmed the diode assembly is good now where the diode assembly plugs into the key switch my mistake was measuring from it to ground but that's not the correct way i need to measure it over to the positive lead that goes to the battery so if i turn the key switch on we're connected to the battery Okay, so now I got another measurement I need to do. All right, I had to stick the wire in the connector, the meter in the connector, but there's my 5 ohms. Okay, we're back to start again. We're starting to feel deja vu now. Um, my AC transformer, I got ground going to ground. We've got the other side of it going to the charge wire. Okay, so now over here, I've got the other side of the meter hooked to the positive lead, and I've got the negative lead. So if I turn the key on, and it is on, something ain't making a connection. It was this one. It was on the installation. So there's my 14.4. Key off key on all right so the next step is to hook it to the battery so everything was correct in the beginning except i had a 5 amp fuse so if i turn the power on got my 14 volts if i just tap this the battery loads it down and i got a spark but now 
it's charging the battery now see we're up to 15 volts so yeah it was the initial um uh, jump to the battery that blew that fuse all right i got them both in the picture we got the amp meter and the voltmeter uh i don't think they make the dual meters round i could be wrong okay we're gonna see if it works uh I've got that hooked up backwards. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull the battery out so I can swap them leads. <clears throat> I could have swore I had that hooked up right. Anyhow, let me yank the battery back out. Yeah, my little temperature thing says it's 74 out there. Let's go check the other one. Yeah, you can't beat this for almost being February. That says 74 also. So, yeah. Shorts and t-shirts. Okay, hopefully this is the last test for electrical. 12.6. Watch the amp meter. Key on. Yeah, it's pointing the right way now. And where are you? Okay. So all that's verified. We can check the uh, the starter relay now. Oh, got to push the clutch. I'll check that. Well, it's already been checked. We know it works. So yeah, uh, steering wheel, fuel, and I guess we're going to roll it outside tomorrow and do a first start on this engine. Hasn't been running. I'm saying ten years. So. Uh, I do have one more wire connection and that's to take that off and plug it into plug it into there. Okay. I want to call it here guys. Thanks for watching.